Let's look at it from England's point of view. Now, how do we assess this? We were uh, saying that even if they were to get over the line, narrow victory, they'd still think of it as a very harsh wake-up call. As it is, it is one. The only difference is they don't have the two points in the bank. But the bad news for them, the good news is that they've already started winning a few games. How about having a look at the schedule? Where do they finish with? These are the three teams that they have left. Australia, India, and New Zealand, potentially all three fellow semi-finalists. Yeah, and you have a situation, so you basically you've got eight points, right? Mm -hmm. Now with eight points, 10 is dodgy. You could, you may, may not qualify, okay? 12 is safe. So it means they have to win two out of three between India, New Zealand and Australia. And all three are technically losable games. All three yeah, for sure. I think all three are technically losable games, but you know, they find themselves between a rock and a hard place right now and they'll have to really play aggressively. They have to play that what in a, in a manner that's most truest to their nature to come out victorious. And if they have to beat these three, like, potentially World Cup winning teams, then, you know, you, you'll have to play your best, best version of yourself. And each one of them will understand the responsibility that they have going into those next three games. I think they wouldn't look at, look at, it, three, look at it as three games. I think they would look at it as one game at a time. And let's cross this first hurdle, finish that rest up. Let's cross the next hurdle, finish up rest up. Let's cross the third hurdle. I think that's how they will perceive it. That's how they should perceive it. Uh, if they want to move forward and not take too much pressure and let the, let the pressure pressure affect them. But it'll be interesting to see how they how they deal with that first match because it it'll actually show character as to if they can how how well they can come uh, deal uh, playing under pressure, and if they go on to qualify to the semi finals and then go on a win, then they would truly be world champs because they've come back and in within this tournament itself, come back twice, beat the best teams and then gone on to win the World Cup. Then they would truly be worthy of being called world champions. Yeah, and on, on, on th and that the first of those three games is Australia, just before another Ashes home season, <laughs> it's going to it's going to be absolutely Ayo, it's, massive. It's going to be a cracker of a match. At Lords. Absolute cracker of a match and I think everything up if they're going to be up for it and I think it's put the edge to the game because otherwise that clash would have been say England had got their bank their 10 points you know this their fifth win today that wouldn't have had such an edge now it's really going to be tight but look at it if you see that points table now Australia's on 10 the only guys who are really unimpacted by this uh, rain is Australia England and Sri Lanka Sri Lanka because because they've had two washouts they've gone to six as well in even numbers. So basically only Australia, if there's no more rain, Australia, England and Sri Lanka are the only ones in even numbers. My suspicion is that if England gets to 10, 10 might just be enough for a fourth place finish. One out of three they'll need. And how bizarrely the tables can turn. We were almost pushing Sri Lanka over the edge and out of the tournament. Suddenly, because of the schedule, England are looking like potentially they might finish on eight points because they've got three tough games. And Sri Lanka can actually finish ahead of them on 10 or even 12. Because if you look at their three remaining opponents, there's South Africa who already eliminated. You don't know what they're going to come up with playing for just pride. West Indies, unpredictable. And then when it comes to the 6th of July, yes, India is the one tough team that they have to play like England but then you know it could no, be just but the point of it is they may not need an India win they could reach 10 points and qualify they might not read the India win at all I mean they, they could win two out of three and go through and if Sri Lanka goes through it will be one of the most magical stories of the tournament I mean it would be like Pakistan in 1992 what else can you say